This screencast will introduce you to the basics of working with Workfront to submit and review passages. We'll begin with what you will see after you have logged into Workfront. You will land on what's called your My Work area. And in this area, the main thing that you will be looking at are the Working On and Work Requests tab. Requests from Central for you to complete work will appear on the Work Requests tab. In order to accept those requests, what you'll do is you'll click this orange Work On It button. Once you do that, your task will move from the work requests to the working on. And the task will remain in your working on area until you complete the task. We have two types of tasks that we're going to look at today. One of them is a select and submit passage task. The other is a review passage transcription and rendering task. We'll start with the select and submit passage task. You open the task by clicking on the blue hyperlink. When the task opens, you'll see there some basic information about the passage. You'll see the language. You will also see the mode. Finally, you will see the assigned ILR level. This is the level of the passage that you need to select and submit. Moving on from the passage information, you'll see an, a tab titled Updates. Look at this tab to see if there are any important updates from the central team about this assignment. Next, there is the Task Details tab. Before we look at this in closer detail, I want to draw your attention to the area on the right-hand side of the screen where it says who the task is assigned to and the due date for the assignment. I can't complete it by May 4th. I need to propose a new due date so that the central team will know when I will be submitting this work. So what I do is I just click the date and a calendar will drop down and I can select the date by which I can complete this passage. And going back to the task details, the main thing to do on this screen is to look at the details in the description field. This provides a summary of the steps that you need to complete as a part of this task. First, you'll need to select a passage that meets the specified criteria. Those criteria are detailed in the guidelines document shared with you at the start of the project. Next, it says that you will click on the Custom Forms button on the Task Details bar and enter ILR Level Justification, Passage Metadata, and Copyright Information. This is the Custom Forms button, and here is the form that you will fill in about your passage. To populate the form fields, you'll click on this Edit Custom Form button, and the form fields will appear. Occasionally, you will see a hyperlink in the form that will open up a reference that explains that item. On this tab, the custom forms tab, you will need to complete the TLE submission form and the copyright form. Keep in mind that all of the fields that are bold when you edit the form must be completed before the form can be saved. 
So you will want to make sure that you have all of the information that you need to complete this form when you begin. Next, it says on the Documents tab on the task bar, upload the WAVE file if listening or PDF if reading, ensuring that the file name is the same as the UID. On the Documents tab, you will see a button labeled Add New. This is the button you will use to upload your WAVE or PDF file. This file should have the same name as the name in the upper left hand corner. So you select add new document and that will open a finder window to find the document on your computer. And there it is. When you select it, you can see that it was updated by me on June 3rd. So we've uploaded our WAV file. Now it says on the Documents tab, download the passage form, enter the source text or transcript and English rendering into the file, upload your file as a new version. So we're gonna go back here to that Documents tab and we're gonna select that form. That's the docx file. We're going to download it by clicking this Download Selected button and you're going to open that file in Microsoft Word from wherever your computer downloads files to. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And this file is already formatted with all of the correct fonts that are needed for the system where these passages are ultimately entered. So you will Go ahead and enter your transcript or the target language if it is a, read, a passage for reading and you will enter your English rendering. You will save that file with the same file name example passage one in my case. And then what you will do is you again, make sure that that, um, that form file is selected and you will click on the new version button, upload from computer, and you will select that file and that will add your version here. That will allow the folks at Central to see your latest version, and it also makes sure that they have access to prior versions as well. Okay, so once you have, are satisfied that you have accurately completed the form, that you have uploaded your WAV file and provided an accurate transcript and English rendering, then you will click the I'm done button. If there is anything that you need to point out to the central team, you can add it in an update on this tab. In order to tag a specific person, you're going to click on this, include others on this update button, and you will start entering their names in the field and it should populate with the people that you would like to tag. And then all you do is you click that done button and that will add your update as, as part of the record. And you can go back and look at your other work. Again, remember I said that we were going to look at two types of tasks. We just did the select and submit passage task and this is now a review passage transcription and rendering task.
I'm going to focus on the things that are different about completing this task. I will just glaze over this passage information, again, the updates, and go straight to the task details. So here it points us first to download and up open the passage and passage form from the documents tab of the taskbar. You can either select them individually and download them one by one, or you can simply download all. What that does is in wherever your, after you've clicked download, you will look to the area on your computer where downloads are stored. If you downloaded the files individually, then the individual files will appear. If you downloaded them all, then a zip folder will appear with the files inside of the folder. If you're working with listening, the WAV file will be the listening file, and the other file will contain the transcript and rendering. If it's a reading file, then it will contain your source text and the English rendering. So these are the, the two files that you're going to be working with. Looking back at our task details, it says we're going to review the passage and complete the passage review form. So I'm going to just open up that form so it's handy for us. I'm going to listen to the file. And I am going to review the transcript and the rendering. Depending on my own workflow, I might go ahead and um, make corrections to that transcript and rendering as needed based on the guidelines received at the start of the project. And I am then going to also complete this review form. Again, to populate the fields, you're going to click that edit form that will enable you to type in those fields. Remember that all of those fields that are bolded are required before you can save. So be prepared to complete the entire form. These hyperlinks will lead to a reference about that topic. I am going to go back to my transcript. If needed, I am going to make some changes using the track changes feature in Word. Save that file with the same name. Upload my file as a new version. I'm going to click on that file. I'm going to click on the new version, upload from computer find that file, open it, and it will show that I've uploaded the file as the central folks will be able to see that. I've completed the custom form. I've made corrections to the transcript. I've made corrections to the rendering, and I've uploaded my new file if needed. I will post an update about the passage here. I'll click the include others on this update button in order to tag specific people and make sure they get that message. And then I am going to click I'm done. I'm going to go back to my work. I've got no more tasks. I'm all set. If you have any questions about Workfront, please contact your central point of contact.